an in-depth qualitative and quantitative research is conducted with respect to the consumer, the brand and the competition to arrive at the final communication messaging. Is the thought new? Is it impactful? Is it memorable? And will it change a behavior or a habit of the consumer? That is what you have to keep in mind when you actually sit down to write. When I say pre-production, it means uh, selection of locations, director of photography, assistant directors, art director, editor, uh, the grading artist, uh, the VFX if required, CG if required, uh, selection of models, and all the other HODs. The post-production process is once you are on set, uh, there is a DIT engineer, he uh, captures all the footage, it depends on whether you are shooting on a red camera or an Alexa. Uh, he captures all the footage and then we proceed to the editing table where we select all the OK takes and then the editor decides uh, to put everything in flow. Hello, good evening. I'm going to read out the questions first and then the answers. Question number one, as we understand, due to the increasing media options available and more alert audience having access to information, the job of a media planner and an ad filmmaker has become more challenging. So before starting the planning for an ad, which data is required? and how it is collected so as to have effective communication of message through the ad. The answer is an in-depth qualitative and quantitative research is conducted with respect to the consumer, the brand and the competition to arrive at the final communication messaging. Question number two, what is the process of planning for the advertisement? The answer is after understanding the right TG we dig for the right insights then the right trigger point and then come up with the big creative idea that is delivered through the right media vehicle. Question number three. Which points need to be remembered while writing a creative content for an idea? Is the thought new? Is it impactful? Is it memorable? And will it change a behavior or a habit of the consumer? That is what you have to keep in mind when you actually sit down to write. And the question number four. What are the factors those affect the selection of models for an ad? The right fit for the brand slash communication, their performance skills, their competitive work and their availability. Question number five. What care should be taken for the best audio and video quality? The answer is the right equipment, the right talent and the right technicians. Question number six. How do you plan and schedule the frequency and reach for the advertisement? Are there any theories or theoretical models on which it is decided? It is basically planned on the minimum GRPs required for the specific category of communication and also the media vehicle and the season slash timing of the communication. This is the answer. How do you assess or measure the effectiveness of your ad campaign? Answer is via brand surveys, FGDs, sales matrix of the brand and demand generated post the campaign online or offline. The question is what message you will give to the newcomers entering into the world of ad making. I will say don't join for the glamorous world what it seems it is but join for the passion if you have for it because that will help you survive and thrive.
Well, uh, the uh, client contacts the creative agency. Mm -hmm. There are lots of agencies in the country. Uh, the agency then contacts us, which is uh, by us meaning we are a production house. And they send us a script. Based on that script, we select an appropriate director who the producer feels is apt to actually be the captain of the ship and direct that act. And once the agency and the client agree on the selection of that director, then the production process starts, the pre-production process starts. When I say pre-production, it means uh, selection of locations, director of photography, assistant directors, art director, editor, uh, the grading artist, uh, the VFX if required, CG if required, uh, selection of models, and all the other HODs. And uh, accordingly, uh, we shoot the ad on the location or in a studio, and then the post-production process starts, like the editing and the music recording, etc. And then the delivery happens as per the promised committed timelines. That's the process. No, the process is pretty much streamlined. Uh, it's a technical process. It's a creative process. It's a process which involves a lot of craft and art. So the process is the same. With regards to the launch, if you are referring to a launch of a product mm -hmm. or uh, continuation of uh, uh, the last follow-up, then I will say the process is the same. There is not much difference in the process. It depends on the, the script really. The script dictates, the script commands, the script screams out wow. that this is the location which is required. So to do justice for that script, we then hunt for the appropriate location which will do justice to that script. The post-production process is once you are on set, uh, there is a DIT engineer. You know, he uh, captures all the footage. It depends on whether you are shooting on a red camera or an Alexa. Uh, he captures all the footage and then we proceed to the editing table where we select all the OK takes and then the editor decides uh, to put everything in flow and then the director finally uh, OKs it and then after that we record the music and uh, the voiceovers and any VFX and any CGs which are required and then we put the master together with we get an engineer uh, to mix it, the voice and the effects background score and any singing if required, any signals which may be called. And then we give the final presentation to the agency. Agency suggests some sometimes suggest changes and then we present it to the client. That's that's the final presentation. That is a call taken by the client and the agency. We collaborate with the agency and the client while we are, you know, while we are shooting the actor. Uh, playing back on different media channels depends on the budget of the client. You know. That's a call that they have to take at their end. The process is the same. Duration is, I mean, it's a question of longevity. There are professional agencies which actually, you know, based on the TGs for which the ad is made, uh, there is a market research before the ad is made, and uh, there is a there is a there is a uh, there are a lot of agencies which actually test as to once the ad is out there, you know, what is the response? 